Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit and I want to welcome you in my little corner of internet which is this channel and uh, this episode which is episode 53 will be about knitting and uh, my projects on the go and stuff like that and some purchases that I made in Edinburgh at the end of the episode and yeah loads of things so First things first, where you can find me, you can find me on social media as Knitting I Love, everywhere, over here on, Insta over here on YouTube and on Instagram. What else? I will go to, I'm going to put timestamps down below, so if you want to skip something, feel free to do so. And over there also you find some links to certain things, um, whatever I remember to put up over there. <laughs> Then, uh, yeah, what else? Oh yeah, you can find also my little shop, knittingilove.com, where you can find my tags, pouches, coasters, some needles, and so on and so on. So check it out. Okay, what am I wearing? First things, I'm wearing my first time ever fingering weight sweater. I used a pattern on the screen maybe now you can have, you can find finished object video on this channel so I tell you more about it. This is Drops Flora and I love this color. Next shawl, this is a Dawn shawl, this amazing shawl, I think it's Wolf in the Woods. On the screen you have the name of it. I'm not the best remembering stuff. All I know is that this yarn, I used to, uh, I used two different colors from Wolf on Shaffa from Magdalena. She has a shop and she also has a podcast. So check it out, Wolf on Shaffa. And I know it took me like think more than 10 hours. I think I timed myself and I knew that one leaf on this beautiful shawl took me an hour. Can you believe it? or two leaves, I don't know, I don't know. I think it's 20 leaves. I don't know, I don't remember. I don't remember, check the video. I feel a little bit under the weather. I think that's the expression you use, so forgive me about that. But longer I wait, more stuff I will have to share and I have a lot. Okay, I think that's all I'm wearing. So let's go to cows. I'm hosting one cows, an annual cow, knit a hat cows. If you're knitting, crocheting, any hats, you can enter them there. And we're reaching 1,000 uh, finished objects. So once we get that, I'm going to draw a prize. We have a yarn, we have a project bag, we have some of my pouches, one of my patterns, if you wish so. And yeah, join us. Where you can join us is this ravenly.com find group knitting I love and a thread knit a hat cow. Share your project hashtag knit, knit a hat cow. Because I love hats. Yeah, <laughs> I love hats. In the jar section, quickly in the jar section, um, I know the winners of the last in the jar section know that they won, but I've ne never got in touch with me. And the winners are two amazing ladies from the girls in the yarn cafe. So maybe I will message them and they can go to my shop and then see what they like and send me an email or in Reverly or on Instagram what they would want to get. I think I let them know. Anyway, so this is my lovely jar. I put podcasters in it. Um, and once per month, I pull a podcast out and I spoil them a bit, a bit, uh, with the things that I have in my shop. And I'll try to send also an extra set for them for giveaways or from celebrating their whatever they're celebrating. <laughs> okay, so what uh who I'm going to put in today? Quick. The corner of crafts, Hannah. Dunkel Grun, Anna. Soprano Knits, Becky. Braid and Tinkle. Melanie, Carrot Coriander, Julie, Fiber Tails, Lark. Okay, that's all. 
in April, I'll be pulling one of those people. You can always go and check on Everly a thread, which is nominations, I call it, in the jar, I think, nominations. Uh, so you can see a list, what kind of, uh, who's in it? Who is in it? So who's in here? So, yay, fun. <laughs> I hope you like this. If you're here for the first time, a welcome. And uh, you may not know that I went to Edinburgh, that, that was my first ever fest yarn festival that I took part in and I really enjoyed it, that's definitely one thing. Uh, what else you need to know? On this channel I don't only post podcasts, which is this long video, approximately an hour long, but also what I like to post is vlogs or finished object videos. I sort them in the playlist by hat shawls because my memory in regards to names of the patterns or designers or yarns is very short and that way I can always go back or link to something that I'm referring to when I have a chat with you on Instagram, for instance, in the private messages. So that's why I have it and that's why I love it. So in case you're asking questions, you can have a quick glimpse of what I think about it because I don't remember. I know I enjoyed knitting it. I know that it took me a while to do it. I love finished object. <laughs> but more, go check the video. So since the last time I had a longer podcast of so episode 52, I posted a few short videos. The first one was my finished pattern, which is for free until the 31st of March, so grab it if you can. It is a discounting, so you don't need any codes, just go, click buy, and automatically it will show you free. And at the same time, it's a better option because you can go and gift that pattern to your friends. If I put codes, unfortunately codes can be used only for the person who owns the code, so you can't... Um, gift someone discounted pattern using a coat. I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> so go grab it. I've seen a few people already knitting it. I actually have one pair on uh, the go, on a go because I took a Tenenbra. I really enjoy it. I think it's fun and easy and, and the writing it of it was a little bit... <laughs> it took me a while but at least we have it done and I hear you love it. So thank you so much for getting it check the finished object video. So, and then we have all the three videos, vlogs in regard and in regards Edinburgh. And it's not really all about Edinburgh, it'd be more about us camping, us uh, being in a camping side, us going to the city too. So it's a bit here and there. So if you like that, thank you so much. Um, I'm getting question in regards our van. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'll be, I ho I'm hoping that this summer we'll be more adventurous, we'll go to more places so you see a bit um, here and there how our van looks like. So it's a converted uh, van to a camper van. Yeah, approved by uh, tax authority and the roads authority, but unfortunately not by insurance. Um, because it doesn't have 1.8 meters height, so we pay insurance for a standard van, just in case you're wondering. That's in the Republic of Ireland. So by those videos you can also see who I met, who I said hi to, I basically jumped at other people and said hello, because when you see them on the screen and you chat and you listen to them, it's like having a friend in your house and you basically think they're, they know you, so I'm sorry if I made anyone uncomfortable if that was the case and thank you so much for those of you who've seen me and said hi to me uh, I know it cost you a lot uh, so yeah thank you so much it's definitely something new and I was stressed everyone was awkward and it was okay it was okay that's how we human beings behave I think so that's fine and the fun part was also that I was able to meet other podcasters, so those who I just put up into the jar, maybe I have a chance to glimpse to watch their one episode. Um, so yeah, go check them out because they're lovely. The last, uh, last video was unboxing. When I arrived from Edinburgh, there was a parcel waiting uh, for me and it was yarn! Beautiful. If you haven't seen it, this is how it looks like. Gorgeous. What should I knit with it? Because I want to use it. Right. So we have those two. We have those two skeins, and I love them so much. I would want to do something with them. 
I don't know. I don't know what. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know them below. Um, if you haven't watched unboxing, it's a subscription. You get uh, two patterns. The one that I'm getting, actually, it's two patterns, one crochet, one knit, and two skeins for $24.99. But there's other subscriptions and other boxes. Uh, have a go if you would want to surprise yourself every month. Uh, there is a 50-50 kind of surprise because you can have a look on the first of every month and create kind of shows, colors and yarns. But there's always more than one color and that's a surprise. You don't know which one you're going to get. And they're so generous they gave this channel 20% off, so you can use it, KL20, it's 20% off for your first box subscription. Right, what else is off? There's one thing I finished. In this beautiful bag, Bags by Diane, uh, she's I think going on Etsy, so hopefully I will be able to link the link down below to her shop. It's this amazing bag and you can see I added my keychain hat. What do we have? Over here, we have a hat I finished. Ah, so cute. So cute. So finish object video soon. I promise you that. But meanwhile, I can tell you this is Nordic, Nordic Delights Beanie 1. It looks like this. It's not blocked. Freshly finished, actually. I kind of took one repetition of the chart so I make it a little smaller because I'm thinking it will be a gift. I can put it on actually. I'm not sure where is the end, where it's not. So I fit into it um, but I think it's going to be a gift. So yeah I need to wash it, block it because there are a few things that I messed up. So you can see it over here. I was on the ferry and I was knitting it and I completely forgot that this section doesn't, doesn't have, that this section doesn't have, that it has a blue yarn over here and I basically just continue with the, with the pattern, if you know what I mean. So I did Ninja and I just was dropping a few stitches and I was going back, so it took me a while. That's why those floats over here are kind of bigger. They're bigger. Um, beautiful! So yeah, hopefully soon. What did I use? So I use, I use Haya Haya's interchangeable. This is 4 inch needle and a cable, small cable cord, 16 inches, 40 centimeters. You can get these actually in my shop, so check them out if you're interested. They're very, very hard, sharp needles, but I love them. I actually started one hat. Oh, it's there. I have something on my needles. I'm not sure I'm going to finish or not. And I went to Knit Pro because I had the set and, well, I had a pair. Is a pair or is one circulars and I don't I don't know no the, the ones that I have I'll probably try to show you that there is a catching bit and these are smooth and nice and I love them so uh, here they are in my silent forest pouch green color yarn I use this amazing yarn it is French I use this yarn I still have some Color Mondo, I think. And now I know what I'm talking about. 75% merino, 15% cashmere, and 10% silk. Soy, it's silk. It's 115 grams, 365 meters, which is 400 yards. So now on the screen you can see it, and you can see the name, the color, because I don't have a clue how to say it. Tahiti, beautiful. This color I used Hedgehog Fibers. This is their ink, sock yarn, ink color, sock yarn. I still have some left. And as you can see, there's some whites. And for whites, I use Drops Fable, 75% wool, 25% nylon, in the color 100. Those three and it a double brim. The pattern tells you there is an option. You can do one or another. And I was knitting this brim all the way around. Basically, uh, my 
right side when I was knitting was my wrong side because if you watch me and um, you've heard that I said that I do different stuff with the pearls and that way on the wrong side knits look like, like um, twisted stitch. So then I just flipped it and I changed direction of the knitting and I continue it. So lovely pattern, recommend to check Lily's Nordic Stitches designs and Reverly, check her out. I've knitted already one of her patterns. So on the screen you can see a frozen shawl and I don't know why, but I'm going with blues <laughs> with her designs. And the design that I got, it was a gift from her for my birthday. She was the only designer who gifted me something, so it's special. So that's why I wanted to knit something with it. Uh, there is another hat uh, in collect... Go back, okay. So basically I asked for uh, this hat and she gifted me her collection, which is this hat and there's another hat. So I'm thinking of knitting another hat and uh, I'm thinking of keeping one. I know this one will be a gift because it ended up that way. <laughs> it's beautiful, beautiful, well done. So yeah. And finally here my swatch for the sweater. So I'll take it out so I know what to do. I think that's all what I finished. So what's off my chest? So let's move on to what's on my needles. Before yeah, Edinburgh Young Festival, I had some stuff on my needles. I had this. I was telling you that I'm going to cast on a gift knitting um, as a kind of an idea for me to have something on my needles for someone else all the time. This lovely bag was gifted to me by a viewer. Hi Suzanne. And I have over here information that it is gift knitting. I wanted to have a softer matching. Uh, I most of the times, well almost all my socks are from commercial yarns and I had a yarn that I was showing to you I think I was saying that have I even started it in the last episode I don't even remember uh, so anyway at the end of the day I went with uh, with 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 opal no I think I was showing opal to you so maybe I had some done I don't remember I think I had some done so this is it opal on the screen uh, opal is 75% probably wool and virgin wool. What does it mean virgin wool? And 25% polyamide. And I think the color is fresh and juicy or it's kind of um, a seasonal thing. And the colorway is actually 9366. Who can tell me? Right. I haven't put it as a project on Reverly, so probably this is this is more information, maybe you know, more than me. Um, it will show up. Probably with Opal I have to first pick up that is olive, isn't it? And then we'll be, I don't know, I don't know. We shall see. So it took me a while to find matching spot. That was from 150 and that's from another. <laughs> so, but as you can see, they're not attached anymore, so here are my leftovers. And you can see over here, socks. Here they are, quite heavy as you can see. Um, so I'll be keeping them with my, okay. I'll be keeping them in my Christmas pouch, so I'll know. And we have higher highs over here. They're pink because that's interchangeable. You can find these in my shop, but US size 1 to 0.25. That's all I could afford to <laughs> stock in my shop. So yeah, uh, I know you're asking me for different sizes. Uh, I'll try to see if I can get them. Anyway, um, so here they are. As you can see, they're bigger. This is 64 stitch. Circum, I don't know how to say that word. 64 stitches. I started from the toe up and I marked, as you can see, 
places where I'm going to insert after thought heal, how I do, how I cut yarn. You can check on my this video because I made it especially because people were asking me and also uh, I'm using this heel in my lot song socks. And this these socks, so check it out. And what I'm doing, I'm actually finishing over here. I'm on a ribbing and I'm adding this blue colour, which are leftovers from Mo and the Gang, kind of magic sock. And these ones on the screen so you can see, then check it out. I had some small balls. I haven't used it all and I thought that'd be really cool. So I'm going to use it for a ribbing and hopefully it'll be enough for the heel. It will be enough. Um, and yeah, and I will be able to block it and pack it. I think they're going to be for Sebastian. I received this um, skein as a gift in the advent calendar. So thank you so much. Brilliant. Look, flying, flying off my needles. Um, yeah, it's kind of thicker yarn, I would say, for fingering, um, but I still stay with US size 1, probably I could go high up. Uh, I'm a loose knitter, and I think now it's a perfect um, gauge, and you can see it by, by the pattern. It's very unusual for me to get a pattern right, so by pattern, it's a pattering, of the yarn, um, it's because those things I, I don't make these. It's basically it's the way the yarn it's dyed, you get this result. <laughs> so that goes here. So soon on my channel you will see finished object video. Maybe this one first and this one next. Uh, what else? Mm. So I told you that I have love song socks on my needles. I think they're here in the lovely bag by the end. She spoils me rotten, she sends me bags. Thank you so much. And here I have my um, keychains. One is socks and the other one is must knit. So over here, so over here I have another pair of socks and these are on higher highest fixed needles. Hopefully you can see it. That's why they're blue, the same size with size one. Uh, so 2.25 millimeters because I love that size. And um, the same way I'm knitting them, as it says in the pattern, from toes up. I'm marking the way I want to place my heel for my size and for and my uh, my sister and my mom would have a similar size uh, of foot. Um, so I'm not sure it's going to be a present. I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it because the yarn is special for me. I received it from a viewer. Hi, Suzanne. And uh, I've already knitted something with this yarn shadow hat so on the screen now this is a shadow hat um and i think it'd be very hard for me to say to give it away <laughs> because she especially died for me uh, so in regards to this pattern once i do the two repeats i know that i can place the heel and after one repeat i do another one with the with an extra repeat on the back and i know then the sock is done so i have still a bit to do not much, but they're really fun. Um, I showed you this, show you, so I show you, so I can show you over here. I still have some of the yarn and I will have some leftovers. Uh, I'm thinking of matching them with this as a contrast color heel. Uh, and I like to do that a bit of those two rows of different color on the top lately, so I may do that too. So yeah, this is Blue Face Lace Lester Superwash uh, fingering weight, yeah, and shadow for Barbara. Look at this. Look at this. So cute, so cute. And a lovely information. Can you read it? Can you read it? Can you read it? Lovely. <laughs> Um, so yeah, what else? I have just spot something. I was, um, these socks I was knitting on my first day when I was at Edinburgh Yarn Festival, so I did a bit. I was walking with this bag and I was just putting stuff into it, whatever I received from, um, people knitters. So I can take it off now. Um, so, oh yeah, the first thing, this, the, the color over here is 114, the one that I'm thinking of putting as the heel. So let me 
put it back. That's um, and let's put the socks back too. So what I got, uh, I met a lovely viewer, hand-drawn yarn, and she has a channel. I haven't watched it yet. I know I subscribe to it. And I received this lovely thing in case of in case of emergency cast on. Fun. Lovely, thank you so much. Uh, then from Kate, she was a, a podcaster. She was a podcaster in Podcast Lounge. How how Thorn Cottage Craft. Sorry, Kate. Here where you can find her. And uh, this is her beautiful pin. It's so beautiful, I don't want to take it out of the package. <laughs> Then I met amazing ladies from Espastico, Espastricot, Espastico, I think that's how you say it. I watched them, I love, they have a shop and they came up with their own pin, which is beautiful. Uh, if you don't watch them, start, because you will not regret it. Then I met, then I met Ninja Chicken and I received this beautiful pin. Then I got a pin from Curious Handmade, and you might not know that lady from her podcast, Audiobot podcast, um, but you may know her from her designs, and that's how I know Helen Stewart, because I knitted a this amazing shawl, snow melt shawl, and I met her! So cool, so cool. Fun girl moment. And I met amazing Amy. Amy was everywhere with Ellie and I received those two beautiful mini skeins. They're gorgeous, beautiful. I'm thinking of adding them as a some kind of color work into a hat. Thank you so much, Amy. I was gifting a really tiny little things. Um, you can see it, for instance, over here, um, because some podcasters are showing them on their podcast. So that makes my heart sing. And uh, yeah, but those presents were just gorgeous. Thank you so much. Okay, what about second day? Here it is. You can probably, if you watched my vlogs, you have noticed that I casted on this project when we... What's the word? Landed... <laughs> We drove from the ferry to a Scottish land and I cast it on this. Yeah, do you see it? So cool, I love it. So, um, first things first. So, it is a hat, it's going to be at least. And I haven't changed the thing, but I'm telling you it's completely so. Um, I haven't changed the needle size. I was starting with US size 2.5, which is three millimeters. And I thought to go to four millimeters, but, or 3.5, but I just kept on going. So it's going to be interesting. So here it is, here how it looks. I love it so much. The green is the green elephant yarns, Fiona, Irish, Irish dyer, check it out. The gray hook, the one between, I'll show you. So here is the green. That was a mini set that I got from her. This is Grey Hulk on Circus Tonic Handmade, Australia, um, from Australia. And I knitted Long Line Cardigan by Hohi Locatelli on the screen now. So anything that I'm showing you on the screen now, you can check and there's a finished object video about it if you're interested more. So I have some left over, so I was thinking to add it um, to my future fingering weight sweater, but somehow things happen, right? I wanted to take a yarn with me and I found in the stash this beautiful skein that I received as a gift. As you can see, I get... Uh, I don't spend so much on the yarn. As probably I should as a podcaster, so forgive me. Um, but I have a lovely friend who's following me, Rotten, actually. And this is yarn and it looks like a Scottish kilt. And I thought it's going to be amazing, but it's very busy, as you can see. Uh, I wanted to 
set things up a bit. So here it is, my hat. I'm thinking to do something fancy on, and on the top, but we shall see how it goes. At the moment, um, I'm thinking. So again, over here is my pouch, the thing I love because I love them. This is fingering weight, um, so it clips through. That's kind of handy way for me to deal with it. And we have, I see blue, so it's definitely high, highest interchangeable set for me. And like I said, it's US size 2.5, which is three millimeters. And yeah, and I was knitting on it, so I didn't have to think at all on my third, second day. I haven't done any jogging, that's how you call it. So you could see this. I thought I was watching Grace's uh, vlogs from Edinburgh and during the knit night one lady showed her that you can skip, slide, skip, slide, three stitches and um, that kind of technique to have it even. So pity I didn't know that but it's not going to be my last hat like this. That's what I can promise you for sure. Yeah, uh, what else I can pull out? I can pull out a beautiful mini that I got from Magdalena from Wolf und Schaffer that I met in the podcast lounge. Here it is. So what it is, this is Lico. So it's a Brunhilde DK color. So it's exactly the same um, base as I knitted my Humulu sweater. Again on the screen, this is what I'm talking about. This beautiful brown, that's her yarn which is called Barbara colorway uh, and don't think it's because of me, no, because Barbara is, is a very popular um, saint in Poland because the coal miner saint uh, uh, and I believe that was the main thought of it, of that, uh, that uh, colorway. This one is Brunhilda, so it's a perfect amount for a brun, I think. Thank you so much, it's a DK, so perfect for hats. So that's all my needles. As you can see, I may finish this quickly or it may just be in my project uh, back for a while. We shall see how that goes. Oh yeah, so the color of this yarn, this killed color, <laughs> skirt, killed skirt, it's hibiscus and, oh yeah, you can see it now, it's hibiscus over here. And here and for more information if you are looking for it. So it is 80% merino, 20% nylon. I have casted on something, a cardigan. I don't have a keychain with cardigan, so sweater it is. A bag that I received from my cottage number nine, check her shop. Amazing um, bag maker based in Limerick, so where I live, Northern Ireland. And I cast it on something. <laughs> so I cast it on that much. It's a provisional cast on. That's, that's, yeah. It's done with a hook and needle. That's the one. And I love it. That's, that's so simple. And I don't know what to do next. <laughs> oh yeah, in my pouch. This is Haya Haya's. 3.5 millimeters. So it is US size 4. Although the pattern tells you to use um, US size 6, 4, but I got a gauge on this one. And the yarn I'm using, okay, I pulled the, this is Drops Puma. And I have few balls like this and I was looking for a project to cast, to use them basically. And I want to use them because they were in my um, stash for over a year and I just wanted to cast on something. And I received once a pattern as a gift. I could pick it and I did and obviously I pick what I like not what I can do. So this is it. This is apparently you said Bob, Bob, Bob. Uh, this is a cardigan, looks like this. The designer is, whoa, okay I'll put on the screen, I'll put on the screen so I hope you can see the designer. Um, so yeah, and I did that provisional cast on and then I don't understand what I should do next. It's kind of the same, I presume, the way I read it, it's kind of the same structure as a long line cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. And 
I know I have an, an idea how it's going to look. It's just, I don't know. Oh, you know, the piece on the side and you have a left and you have a right, obviously, or other way around. But that piece is missing and probably it's there. It's just I can't see it. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. I have all this set of needles because they call for two sizes. The pattern calls for 4 millimeters and for 3.5 millimeters. So I go with 3.5 millimeters and 3 millimeters. So basically I just jumped a size down and I have a hook of this here too, the one that I use for professional cast on. Um, and these needles I knit pros, I got once um, um, set, basically three needles with a different different types and they were like three 3.5 and four millimeters four millimeters were the uh, cube ones 3.5 wooden ones and three millimeters that's carbons isn't it yeah yeah and i have different colors and i haven't started yet so have you knitted it let me know okay let's go with giveaway so in the last episode episode 52 i was giving pattern away the only thing what you needed to do is to comment down below under the video in regards anything basically you can write anything you wanted to say hi to me say your name much like knit or whatever but also i have amazing kind of book that i received in case you don't know what you don't know what to write and i think what was it what i like to do the most i think probably not i forgot but anyway thank you all for your comments and i haven't at the moment picked the now when i'm recording a winner and the prize was my pattern river flows hat so once i finish and i'll be editing this video i will place who won so i don't know now but you know now who won so congratulations please get in touch with me uh, on ravelry tell me that you won put information down below too and uh, i'm going to gift you my patterns i hope you're going to enjoy it and uh, thank you all for commenting and watching and yay so for this episode let's calm down a bit i hope you're fine with that there won't be a giveaway for this episode we'll just chill out and i'm and i want to just thank you for all the support for purchasing my patterns and uh, just thank you so now acquisitions i don't even know how to spell it so let's say shopping <laughs> i don't want to look up before i start just to let you know, one more thing I want to say will be acquisitions. So what I bought in Edinburgh and maybe a few more words about Edinburgh in case I have any. I don't have a clue. We shall see how it goes. And then about shop because I have some, some of those tags uh, were left. So I will definitely will add them to um, orders until I run out of them. So, so this is what I got. Okay, let's go with an order. I was asking you, um, you all, how do you plan your shopping or what do you want to buy and stuff like that. My Edinburgh experience was more about meeting people. I wanted to see those uh, on the screen that I'm watching, that they're real. Uh, and yeah, it was loads of fun seeing a beautiful color sweaters and that kind of drew me to a few purchases too. And yeah so let's start the way i divided it i divided it that the first day because i only attend two days thursday and friday i haven't been there on saturday we visited edinburgh city so you can check it out on our um, vlogs and we really enjoyed it definitely and definitely seeing snow when you wake up in the van yeah surrounded by snow so first day was a decay day. I took this bag, this is my bag, you can find them in my shop. And what you can notice, I received some pins. So I have a pin from Hannah. So I received a pin from Hannah. I just entered her to the jar. Kristen from Pull and Vine. Well, Yarn has some podcast. And this is Craft House Magic um, that I got and I just pinned it straight away. So what do we have over here? Maybe we'll go with an order. 
So first things first, I went uh, and he had a quick tour and definitely I wanted to go and stop by by Martin's Lab because it's a Polish um, dyer, a male dyer, <laughs> whose wife you probably all know is just another Lukowska. So that was a bit of um, a bonus going into that booth because you can you could have chat with her, meet her, say hello and it was amazing. So first day was a DK and I asked Seb to pick a skein for himself so I can knit him a hat and he picked this color, right? This color. I'm not judging. <laughs> There's nothing crazy going on over here I, I will say but it is a beautiful beautiful tonal color. Yes, so you can see it over here. It's more brownish Okay, and this is his label. Um, so we have a Tibetan DK, 60% superwash merino, 20% silk, 20% yak. It's 212 meters, which is 232 yards for 100 grams, and it's called silver lining. On the screen, pause if you are interested and you would like to write it down. Beautiful, so there's going to be a hat. What is going to be? I don't have a clue, but it's going to be a hat. Now, once I did that and forgot to take a photo, because at that day I was wearing um, Dancing Palms by Justyna Lorkowska on the screen now, and I didn't take a photo then. I took a day on the second day when I was wearing completely different stuff. <laughs> Watch vlogs, you'll see. So, then I was looking for a DK yarn because I have a two skeins um, from Comer Yarns and it is uh, quite similar I think dyeing technique that I had when I was using hair yarn uh, on my Humulus sweater and I love that effect and I was looking for something that will match. I actually just I haven't had even a chance to play with this yarn um, so this is I'm playing actually and watching. So what I got I went to Rainbow Heirloom they were, I think, the second booth, and what I liked about it is that it says that it had died in Edinburgh. So it's kind of as a souvenir, and you can see it's a 16 pounds per skein. So what do we have over here? We have DK Worsted, 100% Superwash Merino Wool, 250 yards, which is 230 meters, uh, per 115 grams. I haven't even noticed that, that you get 15 grams extra. Wow, and I got one, two, three, four, just to be safe, because in my Humulus I had only three skeins, and I thought I would maybe want to have a proper, a proper sweater, <laughs> not a crazy striped ones, which I did not mind to wear on the first day. I love it so much. Um, so yeah, so we have this. Maybe I'll show you the irons I'm talking about. So here it is, it's kind of orangey reddish color and I think it will go beautifully together, don't you think Monica? Uh, yeah, I have another skein, I actually won, the, won these two skeins on Instagram uh, ages ago and that's her old labels, I'm going to keep them, uh, lovely. So that was a quite good purchase and the other thing that I purchased, but it was actually, it was still in Edinburgh, in the van, the camping site, when I was chatting with my friend and um, we decided to go for it and get three patterns from um, Jennifer Stained Glass. Stained Gas. I don't know how, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I got three, maybe on the screen I'm going to put it up over here with the names. Hopefully I will have yeah, so you, hopefully you have on, on the on the screen. I'm not sure which one I'm going to knit, but um, I think, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah. Um, because I got another, another botch, uh, another quantity, sweater quantity, so um, yeah. Uh, and that was all in regards to purchases for that day, so I don't think that was bad. There was something for Sebastian, and there was something for me, for a sweater, that's what I wanted to do. And day number two, so Friday, was, um, sorry to my old English speakers, fingering 
day. When I said that with excitement, someone said to me, add yarn into it. <laughs> so fingering weight yarn day. I was looking for fingering weight uh, yarns and I was overwhelmed with the yarn there. So on Thursday, I was checking other purchases of other people so I could kind of have an idea what they're buying. And because I did not have any knowledge in regards um, dyers only, I knew that I wanted to go to Martin's lab and get some skein and say hello to some Polish people. And um, that's what I did. The rest was a blur for me. It was, a, it was like a candy shop. <laughs> for a kid. So we came, went back uh, to Martin's Labs and I wanted to pick some fingering and I did not have an idea what I wanted to knit, I just wanted to pick something exciting. So I picked those two and it took me a while <laughs> because for me to make up my mind takes a while. I was thinking that maybe those two together would work nicely. I'm not sure will it work. Apparently this is very, very busy. This is somehow, even though it's um, kind of tunnels, that's kind of, it is busy with this. So what do we have over here? Uh, like this was slightly more expensive than this because you have yak and and silk in it, isn't it? Yeah, and merino. This one is 100 superwash merino. 400 meters, 437 yards. So it's a perfect base. It's called Comfy Merino, and we have Memories over here. This one is Memories. This one is Memories. Beautiful skein. Beautiful. And this one is Navajo. I want all Navajo. If it's Spanish, it will be Navajo, I think. Um, so this looks amazing in the skein, doesn't it? beautiful. Um, so we shall see what it's going to be. I just got it because I loved it and I just said follow your heart and those were calling me. Then I was kind of bummed for a bit. I didn't know what to get. I was thinking to get some natural yarn uh, because I was sitting with Amy and Ellie and um, a bunch of uh, podcasters they're into natural color natural wool um, and I haven't knitted so much with it I wasn't sure what to get so I was just basically walking um, around the booths and um, there was a booth that kind of called me quite a lot um, and then I kind of figured out why. Uh, one day I was spending some hours on Ravelry looking through obviously Jennifer's uh, color yokes and there is a beautiful, a beautiful sweater and I hope that person doesn't mind to post over here. Okay, I'm risking now, but uh, this beautiful lady in this sweater um, I saw her on Ravelry and I just fall in love with it and I was eagerly um, suggesting my friends to knit a similar for herself and actually that lady who knitted and this sweater is an owner of this yarn I think. Anyway she was at the booth and that sweater was there on Thursday like hanging it did not click to me to add those two together because that lady hasn't been wearing that sweater and and that's where I was on mannequin or, you know, and I was like, I think on Thursday I was thinking like, yeah, I think that's her. That was so cool and amazing. Um, and I think it double clicked when I watched someone's vlog um, and it was confirmed that that, that, that it was her. And um, anyway, it's a Swedish wool, this one. The thing I'm talking about, the, the thing, I can't pronounce it, all centrum. Um, it, it may not be the same yarn, but this is from their booth, so I thought I'm going to get some. Uh, so uh, this is a fingering, I would say, two ply. Uh, we have 300 meters in 100 grams, so maybe sport. Uh, we have 100% Swedish wool collected from Swedish farms. And this is grassy, the colorway, beautiful. And what I was thinking, I was thinking, because actually, Everyone was talking about those 100% yarn, yarns and 
If you watch me for a while, I think last year or year before, I actually purchased 100% Polish wool. Maybe it's not as soft as this thing, or maybe it is, I don't know, because some people say that once you wash it, it gets better. Uh, and I have it, it's, it's here, it's full of it. So I have a yarn like that, it is a hand spun, and I'm thinking to use it. I probably will have to wash it again because, or maybe I won't, and basically when I finish, then I wash the sweater, because you feel that it is wool. My battery died, so I'm not sure when I finished. I hope I was showing you these two beauties, and then I was talking about this yarn. And um, it is really, really beautiful. It's a natural color. I have this one, which is gray, or I have this one, which is cream. And I was thinking to use this 100 as a contrast color and then the rest as a sweater. Hello. And we shall see how it goes, how well I like it. Obviously, this is completely, could be a completely different story. And um, we shall see. So I really want to do it. I haven't got any pattern for a fingering waist, but I met Ellie, you know Ellie from her podcast, and uh, she designed a beautiful sweater. I can definitely show you that here. I haven't purchased it, uh, although I'm now um, regretting because it was 20% off. Um, for a while and although with her pattern I would need another color but I have that white thing so Ellie are you watching this <laughs> teasing so yeah we will think about it <laughs> uh, that'd be really really cool I think um, everyone is knitting Ellie's patterns and she has amazing you're talented, basically. Yes, you are a designer. Beautiful, beautiful. She's going to... I've just watched her episode about Edinburgh and she's just picking her a sock collection. Again, amazing stuff. Check her out. It's worth it. Now, I thought that would be it and I'll be just sitting at the, at the lounge, 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 with other podcasters are chatting and going and asking them for things like what they bought, what they're knitting and stuff like that, which was really amazing. And Magdalena from Wolf Shaffa showed me that she went for a walk and she bought something. And she bought amazing yarn. When I touched it, I was like, oh, I want some. I really want some. And she said it was just the first booth from the way we were coming out. And I just... Uh, run for it so i received a bag because i got i think sweater quantity of it so this is pearl scents making knitting beautiful i think it's online shop and she pointed out a yarn that i would not have seen it because it was down below and yeah uh, and the one i got is this one so I got three skeins and a one over here. Anyway, I, I got that much. And uh, I'm thinking of knitting something with it. I don't even know what. This is 100% um, Superwash Merino. We have, it's a fingering weight. That's why I got only that many. So we had DK and now we have a fingering. Um, this sweater that I'm wearing used exactly 300 grams, which would be like this. And I'm adding extra, so I should be fine. Uh, what we have over here, this is... Okay, I'm going to show you that. No way, um, yeah. 100% Merino it is. 365 meters, which is almost 400 yards for 100 grams. Um, and the colorway is avocado. So, vivacious, vivacious. Okay, it's so hard. I'll be watching my Delena's podcast to hear how we, I should pronounce this because I bet you she's going to show it to you in a while. She got completely different colors. I went with tunnels. I don't know lately. I'm just. And here, 
Okay, it's a really tiny, but I hope you can see it and read it. Pause if you need to. Okay, and this one is exactly the same in regards base, but the color is dove stone. Dove, like a like a like a bird. Uh, here is the color. So I thought that wasn't bad. First, um, March is my birthday month. So I saved some stuff to spoil myself. Uh, as you may know, I treat 20s, 30s, every decade, you get an extra day to celebrate. So today's in Embra in the Yarn Festival and want to see the city. So that was my treat. And <clears throat> on the video that day, when that was a fingering weight yarn day, I had only 22 pounds left from my kind of idea of how much I can spend. So Sep chipped in a keeper. So yeah, I just need to tell him which, which uh, I think I'll tell him this was his gift for me for my birthday. Be fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so it wasn't that bad. And I received a beautiful skein. I didn't buy it. Uh, Heather from Woolly Elephant Podcast. Uh, she came in with Nikki and she gifted me yarn. She showed me, um, uh, yeah, she showed me a hat that she tested for me, which is called um, River Flows Hat. And she got two repeats. It got kind of really small on there, well, like my one's bigger. Uh, so with that hat, you, I wrote down over there, you can have a few more repeats if you want to. And this is the yarn I received from her. She started dyeing yarn. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my. You see it? Beautiful. And this is Merino Silk DK Single Ply. 58% uh, super, super Wash Extra Fine Merino Wool. 42% Silk. It's 230 meters, which is 100 grams. The colorway is Negative Effect. Perfect. Let's show you this. So check them out. They're based in UK. Uh, Woolly Elephant, Woolly Elephant on Etsy. On the screen, pause and check that Etsy shop. Beautiful. It's a single ply a hat with a pill. I'm tempted to use it as an extra color in no, I can't. I don't have a DK to. <laughs> um, maybe I'll keep it and use it as an extra color. That would look lovely with that plumpy and the one ply effect. With the Humulus, I use an extra thicker yarn. Not completely, but that gave kind of 3D effect a little bit for, for the stitches to pop up. So, very good. Very good. I know, I'm not, I, I don't know. Thank you so much. It's amazing. I'm not sure what to do with it. I think it's too precious to be a hat, although it would have been a beautiful hat. And I think that's all in regards Edinburgh and everything. If you haven't watched my vlog, thank you so much for joining me in Edinburgh. If you had a chance to go there and stay in that long queue and freeze because it was it was definitely a knitwear day to wear. And yeah, I'm I'm quite thrilled with my purchases because I know what I want to do with them. Um, the idea of knitting patterns, for me, I have a long queue what I want in it, what I would want to have on my needles. I don't think I have enough yarn for that, so I have, I'm a completely different podcaster, I think. Uh, so yeah, but it's, um, it's kind of amazing. Amazing and exciting and thank you so much for being there, if you've been there and to watch me if you couldn't couldn't make it or you can't go on events like this. Um, like I said, it's it's for me, it was not so much about yarn, although, you know, we don't have to pay shipping uh, or like custom stuff. Uh, and yeah, it was so much fun, so much fun. I would really recommend you to go if you haven't been on any um, yarn festivals. Just go, just go. 
Um, okay, my shop. My shop was closed. I haven't mentioned that during my event. I closed my shop because I would not be able to send anything because I wasn't here. Uh, I'm based in Ireland, which is the Republic of Ireland. And um, yeah, it takes maybe two, three weeks to get the things to USA. And even if I, I basically like to send things straight away next day if I can. So that's that. My shop is open again. You can find the pouches, so the things that I was, yeah, I'm using and I'm showing you. I love them so much. Check my tags. I'm going to add tags to uh, purchases. I still have a few left, which basically they're the small ones uh, with something special. So I think I'll be adding these for a while because I have some. Uh, I have a 16 different um, shapes. So we have cacti, we have stop, we have hearts, we have um, loads of things, just check it out. Uh, so yeah, I'll be putting them randomly for any order um, it's going to be there. I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I won't be showing you stuff because I'm putting things on my sweaters and pouches and you can check it out. Check my Instagram, check hashtag knitting I love tags or knitting I love pouches or um, stuff like this. And if you find something that you enjoy, that please order, have fun and thank you so much for supporting. Uh, and if you find patterns that you like and you want to support and get a pattern, um, feel free. So. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, I know my thing is a little bit overwhelming for me. I know it's not a lot for some of you, but uh, like I said, I think it will be my um, kind of the biggest haul this year. And um, yeah, I, I'll try to use it. I'll try to knit with it. <sighs> so I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy your knitting. Tell me what you're knitting. Show me what you're knitting. Use, ask, use hashtag knitting I love. And follow me on Instagram. Say hi to me. Watch my stories. Uh, because uh, I love those interactions. As I said, my YouTube channel and my finished objects videos are for me and to refer to the project I knitted so I can quicker show you what I have in mind because words sometimes are difficult for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't want to go, but I'll have to. I hope to see you in the next one. Enjoy your knitting and bye. I forgot. I was asking everyone for a magazine and most people were saying that they go on Ravelry and buy patterns like that. But uh, then Nina, I need to check her podcast and probably I'll put Nina in the next episode too in the jar. So Nina, you'll probably be in there. And she recommended this magazine and I got it and I love it so much. There was a bit of confusion when I stormed into the section when you can get magazines, but I'm thinking to uh, record a completely separate uh, video about this magazine as a review and I hope you would not mind to watch it. Till the next one. Bye!